In a peaceful suburban neighborhood, there lives a golden retriever named Max. Now Max is no ordinary pooch. He's a golden retriever, a breed known for its friendly and tolerant attitude. He's got a heart full of playfulness and a head full of curiosity. He spends his days chasing squirrels, fetching tennis balls, and enjoying belly rubs from his doting human family. Max's life might seem ordinary for a dog, but there's something special about him. He possesses a keen sense of hearing, far superior to any human's. It's this remarkable sense that allows him to hear the rustle of a squirrel in a tree, the pitter-patter of his favorite human's footsteps returning home, even the faintest whimpers of distress from a creature in need. While Max's days are typically filled with joyous romps and endless games of fetch, today is different. Today, his extraordinary senses will be put to the test. Little did Max know, his ordinary day was about to take an extraordinary turn. While out on his daily walk, Max's ears perked up. A faint cry echoed in the distance. Max, a dog of extraordinary senses, was instantly alert. His eyes flickered with recognition as he deciphered the distant meows of a cat. His heart pounded in his chest, the rhythm of it sinking with the desperate cries for help. Max's tail, usually wagging with joy, went rigid. His jovial prance turned into a focused trot. He began to track the sound, his nose twitching, his ears swiveling like satellite dishes to catch every nuance of the distress call. Each meow tugged at his heartstrings, stirring within him an innate sense of duty. The golden retriever was no stranger to adventure, but this was different. This was a life hanging in the balance. A choice had to be made. And Max, being the brave and noble creature he was, made his decision without a moment's hesitation. With a determined look in his eyes, Max ventured into the unknown. As Max pushed through the underbrush, the sight that met his eyes was one of pure desperation. Simba, an orange cat, was clinging desperately to a branch in the fast-flowing river. With a sense of purpose, Max didn't waste a second. His heart pounded in his chest, but he was not deterred. The golden retriever's instinct kicked in, driving him forward. He knew what he had to do. The river roared with a ferocity that would make the bravest hearts quiver, yet Max was undeterred. Max approached the river's edge, his eyes locked on Simba. The river was a formidable adversary, its currents swift and ruthless, but Max was a force to be reckoned with. He took a deep breath, his muscles tensed and leapt into the swirling waters. The chill of the water was a shock to his system, but Max shook it off. He had a mission. He was Simba's only hope. As Max battled the current, Simba's cries grew fainter. The river was trying to sweep him off course, but Max was relentless. He swam with all his might, his every muscle straining against the relentless force of the water. Each stroke brought him closer to Simba, his determination unwavering. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Max reached Simba. The orange cat was trembling, his cries now weak and pitiful. Max nudged his head under Simba, giving the terrified cat something solid to cling to. With Simba safely secured, Max turned his attention to the daunting task of getting back to the shore. The return journey was even harder. Max was fighting not only the current, but also the weight of Simba. Yet, he pushed on, his every ounce of energy focused on reaching the safety of dry land. His struggle was monumental, an epic battle of willpower against the merciless forces of nature. With a final heave, Max brought Simba to dry land, both of them drenched but safe. The golden retriever and the orange cat lay there, panting and shivering, but alive. They had survived. Against all odds, Max had pulled off a daring rescue, proving that heroes come in all shapes and sizes. Max, our heroic golden retriever, returned home with Simba, the cat he'd just saved from a watery fate. The sense of relief that washed over everyone was palpable. Max's family, who'd been worried sick, couldn't contain their joy. Their ordinary golden retriever had turned into a bona fide hero. Their eyes welled up as they showered Max with affection, his tail wagging in response. Simba's owners, too, were overcome with gratitude. Their feline friend, who they'd feared was lost forever, was back in their arms, all thanks to Max. The orange cat, though a bit shaken, purred contentedly, safe and sound once more. The air was charged with a profound sense of thankfulness. Everywhere Max went, he was met with pats on the head and words of praise. 
His bravery had saved a life and brought two families closer. And so, Max, the Golden Retriever, became a local hero, a testament to the bravery and selflessness that exists in the heart of every dog. News of Max's heroic act spread through the neighborhood like wildfire. Our everyday neighborhood, once quiet and unassuming, was now abuzz with chatter and admiration for Max, the Golden Retriever. Max, who had been just another friendly face, was now a symbol of courage, a beacon of hope. His heartwarming tale was narrated from one house to the other, from the park to the local grocery store, leaving a trail of awe and respect. Every bark, every wag of his tail, now held a different meaning. And as for Simba, the orange cat, he found more than just a savior in Max. He found a friend, a companion, a confidant. The duo was now inseparable, their bond formed in the face of adversity, strengthened with every passing day. And that, dear friends, is the tale of Max, the golden retriever who proved that even the most ordinary day can turn into an extraordinary story of courage.